Yo, what's up guys? This is the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a double sniping MSR MOAB I got today during my live stream. I'm using the MSR with the extended mags and the autumn camo. After this game, I actually unlock gold. And what I do here is I get a double MOAB, pretty much using pretty much no kills with my MP9. It's all sniper kills, and I'm not claiming that this is, you know, the most impressive sniper MOAB in the world or the most impressive gameplay in the world. I just think it's pretty impressive, you know. Nonetheless, my team was beast this game. This was during my live stream, and I was live streaming the Rote Quad MOAB today. I got Got quite a few good gameplays, lots of doubles, died a few off some triples, lots of huge gun streaks, sniper moab, stuff like that. And I'm probably gonna be live streaming a lot more um, as of late. We had 1,000 viewers in the stream, which was freaking awesome. So I'll, uh, I always upload a video when I'm live streaming. If you guys want to come over and check it out when you see those videos, feel free to. And it's lots of fun in lots of fun in the live stream for everyone. So this is part of my series Goblin Challenges, and this series has kind of been on and off. And I'm gonna try and do it at least once a week now, more consistently. Now that I've gotten back into the groove of, groove of live streaming and you know playing call of duty quite a bit so what this is is i'll throw the comment on screen at right now this guy challenges me to get the double mod with the msr and i go out and do that so what this means is i want you guys to leave me any sort of challenges down in the comment section below for a moab and it can be any sort of challenge you know you, it doesn't even have to be a mob it can be get 100 kills with this get 60 kills only using these kill streaks any sort of challenge leave that in the comments and we'll try and get you know a lot of comments and i read through them all and i picked out one and i go and do that challenge and then if yours gets picked you'll be featured in the next video uh, on the screen like this guy was in this one so um, the other thing is hopefully you guys will enjoy this gameplay obviously you know a double a sniping mob is still fairly impressive no matter what the circumstances are I basically just stayed around this this area of the map the whole way the back uh, backside left alley and this middle area and I would hit some sweet jump shots and stuff like that and was able to pick up the double sniping mob so if you guys do enjoy this let's try and hit 2,000 likes you guys are the best and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy you know the time I put in to get this gameplay the time I I did live stream. I live streamed for about five hours today, and it was lots of fun. I'm definitely going to be live streaming a lot more. Um, as you guys, I know some of you guys are going back to school, but I still got a little bit uh, left, um, two or three weeks left. So anyway, today what I want to talk about is my sniping thoughts for Call of Duty and how I think sniping should be in Call of Duty, how it's evolved, and how it's going to be in Black Ops 2. So let's start with the first, you know, the first real game that got Call of Duty big, which was Call of Duty 4. And in my opinion, the sniping on that game was very well done. I mean, the snipers were not overpowered, but but they were not underpowered you know you could snipe comfortably you didn't have the quick draw or sleight of hand pro like you do in mw2 or mw3 but you could snipe in that game fairly well and do quite well with a sniper rifle compared to people who are try harding or using whatever you want to call it mp5s m16 stuff like that so i did like how the sniping was done in call of duty 4 it was a lot of fun and uh, i don't have the most time played on call of duty 4 i have like two or three days but it, that was a lot of fun and i did like to use my um my sniper M40A3 with the ACOG scope in there. There was the glitch where the ACOG scope was a one hit kill to anywhere on the body, even the foot. And, uh, you know, that was lots of fun to snipe in that game, and I think the snipers were well done. Then going over to World at War, World at War also did a nice job with the snipers. They weren't too underpowered, they were fine. It, it sim World at War and Black Ops did a similar thing with the snipers. They were a little bit underpowered. You know, you couldn't hit sick jump shots like you can in this game, and you would see the, the sniping clans like FaZe, uh, Soar, Optic, you know, all those guys, they wouldn't upload too much of World at War or Black Ops simply because, especially the trick shots, it was a lot harder to hit trick shots, a lot harder to hit quick scopes and no scopes and stuff like that. That. And me personally, I just do whatever scopes. You know, I don't quick scope, I don't hard scope, I don't no scope. I just do whatever I can. You guys will see that in this gameplay. I hit some nice little jump shot drag scopes over this um, over this uh, broken down car here, but that's about it. So I think the sniping of Black Ops and World at War was good. It was a little bit underpowered. And then in MW2 and MW3, the sniping was obviously very good. And that's, uh, you know, I do enjoy that. At first I thought, you know, I don't really like sniping. It's not that fun. But when you do it yourself, um, it's tons of fun. Sniping is the thing, like, say you're try hard running around with an mp7 or whatnot you get hit with a quick scope you're gonna think that's bullshit you're gonna get all pissed off and you're gonna think you know wow snipers are so overpowered then you pull out a sniper yourself and you're like yeah you know it, it's not the best a uh, long range obviously it's great uh, you know you can hit those lucky quick scopes and no scopes as well but at close range the sniper is not the best and it's the same with the shotgun when you're using it it seems like it's underpowered when the enemies kill you with it it seems like it's overpowered because those are weapons that can kill you in an instant you know they can be one shot kills like the sniper boom hit you from a mile away you're done a shotgun up close you know he can take you out in half a second so i think the sniping that was done well in this game and they're fairly easy to use you know anyone can pick up a sniper and do well i'm not the best quick scoper in the world but i've always done well you know when i play with my friends from school whenever i oh nice jump shot there play with my friends and stuff like that i'm usually at the top of the quick scoping lobby i don't do you know your straight quick scopes i do 
do like little drag scopes and stuff like that. But I've always had fun sniping. I've always been pretty good at it. So in Black Ops 2, if you guys saw the trailer, saw some of the sniping gameplay, they do scope in fairly quickly. And I'm referring to, you know, in the multiplayer trailer, um, there was that one area where the guy came out of a little... He came out of a little building and looked to his right and got a nice little quick scope. And there was also the one where the guy got the quad. Um, David Von der Haar got the setup quad. And that sniper had no scope on it, which is something that World at War and now Black Ops 2 have done. Uh, the original Black Ops, you couldn't do that. But you can have no scope on a sniper now, which is pretty cool. And it'll allow you to rush a lot more. You know, you can have just like a regular sight, which will kind of look like the MK14 sight does in this game. And here I back off. These guys are firing javelins out of their spawn. But yeah, that's how it kind of looks like. Um, you know, you can rush a little bit more when there's not the scope on it and you can hit those lucky hit fire kills or the lucky quick scopes obviously because you don't have a scope on it but black ops 2 looks like quick scoping is going to be back in full force which is new for treyarch and i'm actually pretty excited about that you know i'm going to be one that's going to be pulling out the sniper quite a bit and maybe you guys can expect some more sni sniper gameplays from me in the near future and black ops 2 and all that stuff and when black ops 2 comes out i'll definitely be giving you guys some reviews on you know snipers which one's the best to use best class setups and all that stuff as soon as the game comes out so so expect lots of stuff on Black Ops 2 as soon as the game comes out. I'm going to be working really hard to pump out the content for you guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be using a sniper a bit more. Because I found that, you know, when you're getting frustrated with running around, going for double and triple mobs, pulling out a sniper and just sitting back and picking guys off left and right is a lot of fun. And right here I pick up the double MSR mob. And uh, then I'll sh speed it up a little bit and show you guys me calling it in. The first one gets the kills, the second one doesn't. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, if you did, please go ahead and leave it a like rating. It uh, helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated if we could hit 2,000 likes. Leave me a comment on any sort of challenge you guys have for me for Goblin Challenges. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, homie, I'm coming, I'm coming, and I'm never gonna give up. My mentality is making rappers feel like they can never even live up to logic. You bust, I dodge it. Think you see me now? Nah, you just mirage it. I'm gunning, I'm gunning like a semi automatic. That's putting your quip with lyricism to let them have it. I blast it. Any style that you coming at me with, I master it. I sun motherfuckers, and I'm out on you bastards.